Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Salesforce Emily, where I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're in a little bit different of a location. We are currently in my husband's office where we do all of our Salesforce certification tests and exams. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about how to sit for one or how to set up your home for a Salesforce certification test. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys. I'll do a separate video on how to register for an exam, but this is going to be after you've registered when it's about to be your Salesforce certification time and how to get going for that test. So um, that's why we're in a little bit different of a location today. As you can see, we've got two separate computers. Um, we've got my husband's computer right here. Um, that is his work computer. And then we have my computer. This is not where I do the majority of my work. Honestly, this is mostly for gaming. Um, between my husband and I and where he does all of his work, we game, I write the blog posts over here, um, and do some other just hobby activities. And it's also where we take, both of us take our certifications. His setup is too complicated to take down in order to take certification tests. So we all take, or I guess we both take our certification tests over here on my setup. So the first thing that we would usually do is that we would cover my husband's setup with a blanket so then he, so then the proctor doesn't see it. Um, and the other thing that I can't do right now is take my mic. This is my microphone. And usually we would unscrew it and we would take it down. Um, but I'm just gonna move this out of the way. My husband's probably having a heart attack because the microphone's too close to his monitor. That is usually how we like to set this up. All right, so now from here, what we'd usually do is we want to set up the webcam to be side facing. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how we do that now. It's a little jank, but it works out. It's worked for probably 15 certifications that we've set more between the two of us and it involves an old water bottle of mine. <laughs> so usually what we do is we'd come over here. Um, I go ahead and set the water bottle down. And I take this, you see, is the, just a webcam. And I set it over here. I set it over here so then it has a side view of myself. You have to have a side view so that it can see both your computer screen your desk and yourself sitting in the chair. As you can see, this is currently the view and you can see myself and usually I'll be scoot forward. That is what the side angle that they're looking for actually looks like. You want it to show um, your body, you want it to show the monitor of your computer and you want it to show a side angle. So then it can also capture just everything that you're doing. Um, one thing though is that you cannot have any food or drink with you, um, but the water bottle is an exception because it's, I'm not gonna move the camera at all. The testing system will stop you if they see something that is against the rules or that you cannot have. Oftentimes I've had my hair down just like this and they can't see my ears. And so I'll have to like pull my hair back to let them see that I don't have any like AirPods in or anything. No watches, no written materials. You can have things like rings or you can have um, jewelry as long as it's not a smart device. You cannot have your phone, no other written materials. Oftentimes I'll like to wear comfortable clothing. I'll have a hair tie in case I want to put my hair up. You can chew gum, that's okay. Glasses are typically okay. They might want to see them a little bit in the camera, but that's about it for when it comes to the setup. Now, when you're actually taking the exam, you'll have to put on Criterion um, and do a biometric face scan to make sure that it's actually you. You'll have to set this up before your first Salesforce certification and then it'll work for the rest of your Salesforce certifications. All right, so one more thing though is that you do have to exit out of everything else on your computer except for the Criterion Web Assessor page that you can launch your exam from. You will have to download their software to be a monitor and it'll lock down the rest of your computer to make sure that you are in compliance with their security policies. Other things is that you do have to turn off other computers that are in the room. So this computer over here will have to be um, turned off. It'll have to, I cover it just so then it's not distracting me and the proctor doesn't see that I'm looking over and looking at other things. So that's how you sit for a Salesforce exam. Make sure that your camera is in the right spot. You can't really have anything other than what you have on your computer desk normally, such as like your mouse, your keyboard, some speakers, um, 
make sure that they can hear you and hear if anything's being spoken to you. My web camera is 1080p. It has a microphone in it. Um, and I find that the elevated camera <laughs> sitting on the water bottle, it's stable. Uh, it's a little jank, but it works. They can hear me, they can see me, they can see the desktop and myself and my desk as it is. Um, I can't have any sticky notes, nothing, no paper, no pen, just yourself. Um, you can have blankets though. I often find that I like to have blankets during my exams and maybe something to fidget with as well as gum. But essentially that's how you sit for a Salesforce exam. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, if you like this video or you found it helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, uh, check out the exam preparation courses down below at salesforceupskill.com. They're also linked in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.